Okay guys, so this is the follow-up video, and what we're going to do now is just going to go through the code. So, the idea was to, we have these things here, right, and we have the, we have the, we have the clues here. So let me just, let me just fold this up one second. So we have the clues here. Okay. All right. So the first clue it says that reserve one byte for state variable. Okay, cool. So on the test, we're gonna look at this and say, okay, we're gonna reserve a state. Okay, why not? We're res reserving uh, a byte for the state variable. Okay, cool. So it says uh, SA, which is the label of state A. Okay, what are we gonna what are we gonna load into A? Hmm. Okay, well let's 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 go down a little bit more and see what's going on, right? So we see store so we're going to take that a whatever we set store uh, accumulator a with it and we're gonna, sorry we're going to store accumulator a into state with what have we loaded into it so we're going to take this value here and we're going to load it into state okay well okay so now state is going to have whatever value that we put it in okay and it says uh branch subroutine display so okay let's go down to display so here it says load accumulator b with nothing okay we don't know what we're gonna load it with and then we have two lines of code here that we don't know yet and then we're gonna store that we're gonna store it into B we're gonna store B into somewhere and then we're gonna to return to the subroutine okay so then we're gonna return to the subroutine and then we're gonna test it if it's clear or not we, we're gonna test port A if it's clear or not with something and then we're gonna go to branch to a, uh, subroutine A if this was if this branch uh, condition fails okay and if we go to sorry this should be B oh, oh, oh okay yeah sorry this this should be blank yes this should be blank okay sorry about that give me an answer too quickly okay so if this doesn't if this branch if this was on or this was off right this thing we're looking at PTA so that's our first clue of port A port A wants to be off clear so then we can if it's off then we have to go to uh, state B right because in here if we look at our state diagram if we are in A and it's zero if this is input is zero it goes to B right so we want it to go to B so like last time Okay, we're gonna figure out this. Uh, we're gonna figure this out step by step. Okay, and so what are we gonna do? It, what we're gonna do is we also. Sorry, we I forgot to go to the last line as well. And at the last line, it says table, and this is blank. Okay, so we need to use table somewhere. We need to use display and display. We have to figure out exactly what the mechanics of that is gonna be, right? And so there's a couple of ways to do this actually, right? And the first way was uh, I'm just gonna do the solution way. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is the idea is you're gonna load A with something and then put that into state, and then with state you're gonna use state in somewhere, and then you're gonna probably gonna display because you want to display the state, right? Because it says the um, the display of the system displays one when the state is A and displays 2 when the state is B. Okay, cool. So in display you want to have state A or B. But how are you going to do that? Right? So we could have a numbering system. So we can say that state A is let's say uh, dollar sign, uh, sorry, uh, pound zero zero. Right? Well you don't even have to have the dollar sign. You can just say zero zero for the for a decimal. Right? Sorry, for a binary number of just zero zero. Right? And then Okay, cool. So we're loading zero into state. Okay, what are we going to do with that state when we go to the branch subroutine display? Okay, so let's say we load accumulator B with state. And what's in state? Zero, zero. Right? And what are we going to do now is we're going to go, okay, well, how do I add that into Y? Uh, how do I how do I combine this to get a certain value right and even before that we should actually you know before this we should actually go into table right so because table is essentially what we're going to use to do we need somewhere 
to give us both of our options, right? So we're going to use form constant byte, which means that you're going to, in the address of table, you're going to give, you're going to assign values. So the first value I'm going to put in is dollar sign 30 and dollar sign 60, right? Because if you look, remember at the back in the other video, we wanted to do 30, which was this, B and C, which just plays a one on the seven segment. And we want to do, and when we want to do, what is this? 6D, which displays a two on the seven segment, right? Okay. So going back to the state, the reason why we put zero, zero is because we want to have like the first one. You can put like three, four, five, whatever you want. It's just that you want to increment this, the three, four, five. And if you said three, four, five, then you'd have to put zeros until you had on the force constant byte, because this one will define the first position zero. This will be one, and then two, three, four, five. So if you said that this zero zero, you want this to correspond with this. So if you said zero one, then this one will have to be thirty, and then zero two would have to be six D. Yeah, I hope you understand that. So this has to correspond with here, whatever your force constant form constant byte position was. Okay. Oops. Okay. Oh, was that a disaster? Okay, so the second thing we're gonna do now is okay. So in display, so we have this, we have state, right? So we're gonna load B with state, and we need somewhere else to load state to load uh, Y with. Uh, sorry, we know we need some more thing else to load table with, right? The address is table, right? Because we want to take this and we want to take table and we want to add them up together. Right, and the reason why we want to add them together is because state of zero zero, the first one will give us this guy, right? So if I add state, right, with with table, then I have then I can get the address of table at zero position, right? That's why these guys have to correspond, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load y with dollar sign table. Which and this means just the address of table, okay? The just the address of table, okay? If I didn't have this, it would be loaded with the contents of table, okay? If I have a dollar sign, it means the address of table, okay? And then I'm gonna do a add b and y, a b y, right? So I'm gonna add I'm gonna add b with y. State is zero, and then b is y. And then y is table. So it's gonna in the first case it's zero zero. It's gonna take zero zero plus this guy, table, and it's gonna give us the first position, the zero position. Okay? And then I'm gonna store that into B. Sorry, I'm gonna store B. Oh by the way, and this A B Y means uh, add B and Y and store it in B. Okay, whichever comes first, the variable whichever comes first, that's where you're gonna store it in. So A B Y it's B plus Y stored in B. Okay? A B plus Y stored in B. Okay? And then we're gonna store B, which we what we did here, the result of these two guys being added up, into PT B. And the reason why I wanted to PTB is because port B is the the port that's attached to the seven segment. Okay, you can see that over there. Okay? Alright. So in this case now, since we use that system of this is the zeroth position and this is the first position, right? So the first position is going to represent our, um, our, and it's going to return to sorry, we're going to, we're going to return the subroutine after the display, and then it'll go to the br branch clear pta, and so so the branching, so the branching will determine our our movement here, right? And this is all dependent on pa. Right? So PA is where? So port A is this, and we want to mask it with this. Why? Because P pin A3 is right here, right? Pin A3 is right here. Okay, this is PA3. Pin A is right here. And we want to mask it with one, right? And then we want to make sure, okay, well, if this is if this, if we're in state A, and if this is zero, if pin A3 is zero, then we go to B3, 
right? So what's our destination? B, sorry, not B3, it's B. So what's our destination is B if PA3 is zero, okay? So it's gonna be <clears throat> branch, branch, clear, and then it says PTA, right? It was the thing we we're testing. So we want we want the position, and we put a pound sign again because we wanted to see the content, the actual value, not the address. Sorry, in this case, it's going to be the actual value. Okay, a value. And the other one is like a this is the actual uh, address of it. Okay, this is the value. Okay, this is because different commands will have different things when you put with different things that correspond to it with the pound. Again, read chapter two, it's very important. Okay, so we're gonna do port A, that's our operand, okay, the thing we're testing, and then we're gonna mask it with zero and eight. Why? Because again, if we look on here, if it's zero in the beginning, zero, 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 and then one, zero, zero, zero. So that's what, this guy here is what? PA zero, B, sorry, PA three, right? So we're gonna test that. That's our mask. The mask has to be, it'll test everything that you set to one. So remember in here, your mask is here. If you put one here, then that means it'll test the corresponding one in the other guy. Okay? So the reason why it's clear, because if this is clear, then we're gonna go to, the, if it's clear and zero, it's gonna go to B, right? So, and B is our destination. SB, state B is our destination. Okay? Oh, sorry, I should put a dollar sign there because that's hex. You can also put like you could if you want you could just put zero 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 one zero 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 and then S B. That's that's an alternate answer. You can also use that. But the reason why they put dollar sign pound dollar sign zero eight S B is because it's just a little cleaner, it's just a little more compact, okay? Alright. And then we're so let's say if this doesn't if this was actually PA three is actually on one if it was one, you know, go back to A, right? So this guy doesn't branch to SB, so we're just gonna say branch always to SA. So it reloops back up to here. So branch always means regardless of anything that happens, we don't care about any conditions. It always is gonna branch. So branch SA. So it goes back up to here. So it goes down, down, down. If this guy isn't, it'll display again. And if this guy here is, if PA3 is still not, if PA3 is still pushed and it's still one. Then it, then it won't go to SB, then it'll go back to SA, and it'll go back again, and it'll go back again, and it'll go back again, and it'll be a loop. Okay? That's how you create loops, essentially. You, and so, SB, okay, so let's say in the case that PA3 is actually let go of, right? And it becomes zero, right? And then, okay, cool, so now we're gonna branch to SB. So we go to SB, right? So, load accumulator A. Now we're gonna say that this guy is gonna be the first position the the second position right because again when we looked into display we say state right and this is zero one now and we're going to add it to the memory address of table which is this is the first address and the second address right so we add zero one and it'll go to this this first address and you're adding a one so it goes to here 6d right and then we add a a and b together making 0 plus zero 01 plus 6D, right? Sorry, zero 01 plus the address here, which will become 6D, right? And then we're going to put that into B again, okay? Uh, port B, and it's going to display 2 now, right? And then after that, after that display, it'll return to the subroutine, so it goes back to here, and it goes to the one below it. So now we're going to do branch set, right? So it's going to be opposite, because here, we, if it's one now, then it's going to go to state A, right? So state A is our destination, and if it's we want to see if PA three is one or zero, right? So again, we're going to still test PA three, so it's going to be the exact same thing. So dollar sign zero eight S A, okay? And the reason why I do that again is because uh, here zero eight is testing. Uh, this is your mask, right? and it's testing out this position, and this position inside of port A pins is PA3, right? So if PA3 is one, then it'll branch to SA, right? But if it's not one, if it's zero, then it'll, it'll stay in BR. If it's zero, it'll stay in SB. And how do we make it stay in zero? Sorry, how do we make it stay in SB or state B? As we see, after that, if it doesn't branch to SA, 
because the condition wasn't set, you just say, okay, branch always to the SB. So loop back up to here. Okay. All right. I hope that was clear. Let me know if you have, if you have any questions.